Hey, Mama B. All right, so this is, um, I'm going to do a reading, a quick reading for you guys. It's not going to be super long because I'm a little tired, you guys. Um, but I'll do some, I'll do, you know, some, some readings this week coming up. But I wanted to just say something really fast. Um, oh, I'm going to do a separate video on this, but I just kind of want to just put it out there really fast. Um I feel like as a lot of us are ascending high spiritual sage. <laughs> now, what is, I don't, what is it? What is that? Um, a lot of us are ascending. And so our light is going to be illuminated. Our looks are going to improve. When you awaken you, everything about you improves, right? I say that to say this. Watch out for hating ass energy this week. Like people like. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm tripping. My cousin mentioned that pill to me today, but I'm, a, I'm let me just say this real fast before I lose my train of thought. Um, with that being said, there's going to be a lot of energy that is going to be hateful and envious and spiteful towards some of the collective. Right. And so I just want you to be on guard. I don't want you to handle things the way I would handle it all the time because I am very quick to let somebody know what it is, to put them in their place because a lot of this energy could be triggered, right? Could be triggers, right, for people. Um, and when you are triggered by something that you that really shouldn't affect you in no type of way, that's something within you that needs to be healed. That means you need to do some healing on that level. So if you, I just want to put that out there for y'all real fast. I'm getting that. I get it with on my page or my Instagram page, like kind of like envious, like, oh, this bitch thinks she too good type of energy. Right. So just be mindful of that. Be mindful. I'm telling you, motherfuckers be jealous of you. But the sick part, I'm sorry, my son right behind me. The sick part is they will not stop following you. They will continue to keep an eye on you. And I don't enter and understand that one one bit. But like I said, that means that's some stuff they need to go on on the inside and work on themselves with, you know. But hey, teach your song. Um, it's let me type it in. If y'all knew what a lot of people go through then you wouldn't be jealous or envious. The people who reach this point in their life when they are glowing up have been through hell. Okay. Back. Hell. Back. Sorry about that, y'all. So, yeah, but it's it's just really crazy. And, you know, I used to, when I would get that, because I'm super intuitive. So, y'all know that. But, like, I will feel somebody's energy and now it makes me kind of laugh like, oh, wow, you know, that's interesting. You know, you're still following me, even though you don't like none of my posts. You don't like me. You don't like nothing about me, but you're going to continue to follow me. It's crazy. So crazy. Kill yourself. Heal yourself. Am I saying that I've never been jealous of somebody? Absolutely not. I'm not telling y'all that. I'm human. I got several flaws, but I did heal myself. And I'm still healing. And anybody can do it. But the Leo in me sometimes might want to agitate your ass. Because if I know you're jealous and I ain't did nothing to you. I might want to just do something else to really make you mad. <laughs> Trigger your ass into some healing. You ain't going to have no choice when I'm done with your ass. All right, anyways. Let's, what are the messages? Divine Holy Spirit, Divine Holy Spirit team. Okay, so I'm flipped out. What are the messages? What are the messages for the uh, collective? Not my sister. It was my cousin. He uh, he was saying that he didn't like the way it made him feel. He was just telling me that today because I'm diabetic, but I'm working on doing it the holistic way, you know. Okay. All right. Let's get one more card, please. Oh, 
Not quite, not quite. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have yes. So if there's a question on your mind and your conscious mind right now. Okay. All right. If something seems out of your reach, it's not. It's not out of your reach. Okay. But you have to stay in a high vibration to attain whatever it is. Something needs to be let go. And this is what I'm feeling. This is what needs to be let go. Your train of thought that keeps you held back. Some of you guys have a specific way of thinking that kind of like pushes things back or even have in the past have self-sabotaged the way you, that you know what I'm saying? The way things could be manifest into your life. Some of you guys need to surrender to something, like surrender to the process, surrender to spirit, surrender, okay? It's like, let go of those thoughts. If you're having a, a, tr a little trouble, like releasing those negative thoughts, those fear, those fear-based thoughts, um, sad for some of you guys, sad thoughts. Come on, spirit. I'm not trying to rush you, spirit. I just want to get the messages. Self-limiting and self-sabotaging thoughts, right? You got to let that shit go this week, y'all. Because for some of you guys, this week is dependent on your thought process. The universe wants to know how bad do you want whatever it is. How bad do you want it? Let's see. Because some of you guys, what it is, is that something can manifest much faster if you keep your thoughts positive. Listen to your higher self. Okay, remember I was telling you guys to write down what you want to manifest, slip it under your pillow, keep a glass of water on the side of your bed. That is for your ancestors, your angels, right? Some of you guys need to continue to write and man because that is manifesting your thing, the things that you want much faster. Um, I was who was I watching? I was watching somebody and they was talking about having a gratitude jar. And this is something that I've wanted to do before. I think it was House of Oshun. But anyways, let's do a gratitude jar. Get a jar and every day, um, I would say for as many times a day as you want, write down the things you're grateful for currently, but also write down the things as that you don't have as if you have them already. So we want to speak life into everything that we want already. Yes. I love them. Uh, yes. My mentor. <laughs> I want you guys to write more this week. I know a lot of you guys, if you watch me, you are, you already write. But in, yeah. Oh, check it out. Some of you guys need to go back through your journals. The things that you have been manifesting through writing, go through your journal. Go through your journal this week, y'all. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys need to go. Okay. So this is what you do. Go back through the things that you've already written out and highlight. Highlight. What are they going to hi highlight? Highlight the things that... Highlight. Highlight. Something okay, some of the things that you are manifesting right now, all right, you have written about in the past, y'all, are being highlighted now for them to really come into fruition right now. That's what it is. Some of those things you've already written, they getting I'm telling you, you have to stay positive minded, y'all. Do some instantly when you get negative thoughts this week, completely transmute that shit. Transmute it out of your head. Don't give it no life. Very important this week. Like, oh, I'm not, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm going to settle for this two bedroom because I can't get this four. No, uh, uh, transmute that shit immediately. Please do. Hell no.
And if you have to block people or a person is weak, then do it. Oh, I don't want to block them. They're my little so-and-so. No, no, no. Uh-uh. If something tells you, like that, it's a little voice in your head that says, block this motherfucker and block them. Because somebody is feeding off somebody else's energy, whether they're, oh, they're not here. I live with just me and my kids. Somebody is attached to your energy, right? So you're not just blocking them on your phone, but you're going to block them, period. Like block them, block them. Because some of the motherfuckers are impeding on your manifestations, whether it's through intentions, specific intentions, or it's just because they are so like low vibrational. So you want to make sure you cut like whatever you need to do as far as core cutting or whatever it is, do it. Whatever your intuition tells you to do this week, do it. Do it. You know, motherfuckers be, oh, Lord, they, they, they feel bad about themselves, so they want you to feel bad. People are sick. People are pure and sick. Walking around with several mental illness. Not one of them mental illness, but several. Hey, get your sick ass away from me. Shit. Sorry, I got to protect myself. All right, what are these spiritual messages for the collective, please, Divine Holy Spirit? Oops. What are these spiritual? All right, so this one, this, okay. I just did a reading on Instagram and these two cards came out. Okay. All right. What are these messages for the collective? Okay. Uh huh. What did I tell y'all about a hater? What did I tell y'all? Look at this card. This mo Tell me this motherfucker don't look angry and mad and pissed. And, mm. Oh, I love you too, Miss T. Martin. I love you. Well, y'all look at that card. Tell me that's not hating ass energy right there. Like, I'm just mad at you. How dare, how dare you get better? How dare you love yourself? How dare you move on from me? Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys ain't giving a hot damn. Let me tell you something. I had got this card, this energy before. Whoever this is, they this is all they're going to do. That's the most they're going to do. Is because they know what you're capable of. Look. Look what this. Look. They know that you're capable of some shit like this. This is your higher self. Right, somebody who stands for just some. Oh, some of you guys are being pushed or ushered into um, social justice or something like that. Yeah. All right, give me one. Give me one more card, Spirit. One more card. Thank you. Almost not quite. It's the Emperor. Oh yes, the Eight of Swords conquering your your uh, your shadow side. Some of you guys, a lot of y'all are doing shadow work, anyways. Uh huh. So, so I'm hearing securing. Securing your spot in something. Securing your stat. No, it's not securing your status. What is it? Securing your your spot. All right, let's see. Clarify this uh, hyphen card, please, spirit. Uh-huh. Yeah, this seems like some of this is the same energy I read on Instagram. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. This is Ace of Swords. Some of you guys, this is um a, a opportunity, right? Um, okay, let's see. Purification. Purifying your spirit, purifying your soul. Some of you guys purifying your home. Some of y'all got some. 
know I'm a little silly, but somebody got a fine ass man, a hard working man. We're going to leave it at that because my son is behind me. A new beginning. Could have to do with a Libra Aquarius Gemini. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I have a specific message with these cards, but I can't. All right. Let me see what I can say. Let me see. For some of y'all, how do you get this? These two cards, okay? For some of y'all. Somebody is doing something. <laughs> oh. Yeah, somebody is um, getting ready for somebody. Yeah, I can't control the things that come out of these cards, these messages. Somebody is getting ready for somebody. Somebody is getting ready to, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the other way I see it, yeah, but somebody is preparing to give somebody that. Yeah, I really want to give it to you. <laughs> Somebody, this is them preparing for y'all. Somebody, their intentions are setting like, all right. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Clarify this five of swords, please. Hey, Naz mother effers. Be strong. Some of y'all might have to really tell somebody off this week. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody is, or some of y'all may have to ignore that energy of the, that lower vibrational person, right? And just walk in your strength with the five of swords and be strong. Like you're stepping out of that, like whether you tell somebody off or you choose not to engage, you're still standing in your strength, especially with the Queen of Wands being right here. Somebody really does not like y'all. And I'm not saying it like that. I'm just telling you from what I see. That's it. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. You don't do that. And I also told you this is a, I see Libra Aquarius Gemini in this too. Sister. Okay, so you know. Um, some of you guys have a black cat as a spirit uh, animal, or as, um, um, or it can also be a uh, snake, a cobra. Some of you guys is cobra. Huh. This is, is giving me Kundalini um, awakening energy. But some is a black cat that's uh, for somebody that's their spirit animal. Oh, do you? Look. That really, that black cat really stood out to me. Clarify this Queen of Wands, please. I see him in my old apartment. Clarify this Queen of Wands. Clarify this Queen of Wands. Do not self-limit yourselves this week. I cannot stress that enough. Shoot for the stars. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, please. Thank you, Spirit. Yep, this is the same card they got over there, too. Sacred Space. So this is you. Um, it's like, don't come off. All right, so this is what it is. Don't come off your throne for no peasants this week. You're a goddess. You're a god. You're a queen. You're a king. Don't come off your throne for nobody. Don't, because them people ain't worth it. Or, or a person is not worth it. Sacred space, past life. Hold on, let me see what this message is, y'all. Mm -hmm. 
Some of you guys may feel a little bit off kilter this week. I feel like this is going to be like around Thursday. Go to your sacred space, whether this is your car, this is your room, your backyard, your front porch. Because some of you guys around Thursday or Friday are going to have some repressed memories that's going to be ush, that's going to be kind of like um, triggered or just come to the forefront. Right. So it's important that you go to your sacred space. Where is your special? Where do you where do you go to have, where you have the most spiritual solitude, the most spiritual connection, the deepest spiritual connection? They want you to go there. By Wednesday or Thursday, but I, I heard Thursday in the beginning. For some of you guys, these past life memories or this past life may be a little daunting. Yeah, I knew it was your car for you. Mm. Sorry, y'all, if I just went out for a second. I think my internet should be on. Uh, it's this hotel um, internet. I should have used my hotspot. Yeah, it's going to be some past life memories that's going to come up, but just stay grounded, you guys. I know Spiritual Sag has black tourmaline. If any of you guys have black tourmaline, use that. Um, sleep with it under your bed. I'm sorry, under your pillow. I'm so sorry. Or just do you some, some grounding, because I see bread right here and over here. So do you guys some, um, some grounding um, work, because you don't want this energy to impede on what I was saying earlier about the things that can come into your life, like the manifestations that can come fast. All right, let me get this one more, this uh, clarifier for this um, emperor card. Clarify this emperor card, please, spirit. Clarify this emperor card. Clarify this emperor card. Clarify this emperor, emperor, emperor. Oh, no, that's too many. Let's see what these three are, though. Guiding children start delegating unconditional love. Clarify this emperor card, please, spirit. Thank you. This came out in reverse. What is this? Cycles and rhythms. Out of the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So for some of you guys, this is a man, uh, a male figure in your life. This could be an Aries specifically, or this could be representing you. Okay. But let's say that this is a man in your life. He doesn't have to be an Aries, right? This card coming out in reverse the cycles and rhythms. So somebody is not. Inner and overstanding the cycles and rhythms when it comes to a man. This could be a father, a father of your children, an ex-partner, a love interest. But somebody is not over an understanding of why this situation keeps coming around and come back and go. You know what I'm saying? Like some somebody, yeah, this crown chakra work. Y'all gotta do some crown chakra um work. Crown chakra and root chakra work this week. Please do it. This person could have Aries in their chart, okay? Or this person comes off as very authoritative. They have it together. They even may come off um, as, um, I want to say standoffish, but I feel like that's their boundaries. That's their boundaries. That's just the way they are. So this could very well be your energy, um, Mama B. But there's an elephant. And then there's a lion. So, okay, then the the elephant represents memories, which go back to this uh, card that I was saying. Memories. This could be a past life partner, a past life soulmate for some of y'all. Somebody doesn't know how to approach somebody. This person could be a Leo, have Leo in their chart and have Aries in their chart. Come on, Spirit, what's the message? 
Somebody has to leave something where it is and let the, like, touch into that innate knowledge and receive the knowledge, whatever spiritual knowledge you are, that's brought to you. Deep knowing, this card is standing out to me, deep knowing. Because somebody knows something about a person, but they're not, like, aligning themselves Damn, I'm trying to see how I'm putting this. I know it probably won't even make sense. Like, it probably doesn't make sense. But it's like somebody knows something, but they they're not fully, fully aware of this situation. Like all the in all the kinks and all the links and all the clicks and all that all that stuff. Because this emperor keeps coming around and leaving, keep coming around and leaving. That's how you guys. This could be a twin flame type of situation. Somebody who loves you, somebody you love, but this situation doesn't stick. And the and the the key for you this week is figuring out or aligning yourself with why this is not sticking, why this keeps coming. Because this came out in reverse, cycles and rhythms, right? Up, up, up and upright, it says honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. And they're going right around here. This is also saying that. A lot of you guys, whether you're men or women, we all have um, we all have masculine and feminine energies. Okay, so some of you guys, there's particular times where you feel more in this emperor energy, and then there's times when you don't, and you need to figure out why. Like there needs to be some type of like I was saying in the reading last week. There's like you have two pieces, two major pieces. But you're missing that middle piece for some of y'all. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all I can. I, I, I'll come back either tomorrow or two. Much. All right. I love y'all so much. I'll take care of y'all. Need me? I'm here. Take care, y'all.